What's that saying we got? <sighs> yeah, it's out with the old and I believe in with the new, the 2025 Porsche Panamera for with the new redesigned body look. And we're gonna show you guys a quick comparison video of what's different with regards to the exteriors from the old over to the new. Here at Vagabond Builds with James and Sandu. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please tap that like, subscribe button, and we appreciate you guys following. Let's go ahead and shoot over now. With regards to the powertrain, on the Panamera 4 compared to the Panamera 4, these are both base entry level um, Panameras. 2.9 liter V6 twin turbo charged in both. Okay, so we're still getting that same powertrain. The only thing that we see is that it props it up from 324, 325 horsepower over to 348 horsepower. Okay, so you're getting a little bit more tune on the new 2025. Now the mileage changes by like one. So it's like, I believe um, 20 miles city, 24 highway. The gas tank size does not change at all. It's a 23.7 gallon gas tank size. And they're both doing zero to 60 in about five seconds. The new 2025 is top speed of 169 miles per hour. So numbers are looking pretty similar, okay? Let's go ahead and shut this hood talk dimensions on both cars. Now, the dimensions have not changed with regards to length, width, and height. I'm going to mention that real quick. Now, length is 199 inches, 76 inches in width, 56 inches in height with 116 inch wheelbase, okay? Not much difference on those numbers either, okay? What do we see that's mainly different from the old going over to the new? Now, I'd like to just show you guys and get your guys' eyes to see it, is that this is a bit more curvy, rounded off front end, where the new body style is a little bit more boxy, rigid, rugged look on that. More aggressive to me, if you ask me, this is kind of a softer look, okay? And you're gonna see different, starting with the hood on the protruding lines, body lines up here with the hood, the headlight, shape is going to be different as well as the bumper fascia this is more of curvy here you're going to see big difference here with regards to the uh, grill area as well as that lower trim piece okay now let's shoot over to the new one new one starting from the top this actually protrudes more up top hopefully you guys can see that in the video where the old one's a little bit more curvy that fender line as well that fender is different for the 2025 the shape to the headlight, as I said, is going to be a bit more boxier look on the headlight. Now this comes with a premium package. So this has the matrix high definition LED design headlight. Front end box, more rigid and squared off front end look. As I mentioned to you guys, and a lot of difference going on with this grill area, just a bigger, more luxurious or rugged front end, okay? So it kind of looks like the old one was squished and this one kind of just, uh, brings it out or widens it out okay grill whole lot different as well as that lower trim there too moving over to the side now we're not going to be talking about wheels because the wheels themselves uh the 2025 had some add-on 21 inch uh uh, Panamera sport wheels add-on so that's optional I'm sure you can do it on the 2023 as well but come over here and take a look at this fender cut area okay we kind of have a pop-up on top of that active air vent to where this is kind of just a flush um, soft look a little bit more softer on the cut where this kind of integrates and it makes the cut look a little bit more sleek and hidden doors exactly the same side mirrors exactly the same door handles exactly the same trims the same glass same coming over to the rear end we're getting the same exact quarter panel rear ends as well okay this one actually also has a sport package what does that mean it comes with the sport chrono package comes with the sport exhaust with the bronze tip and also rear steering on the 2025 because of that sport package okay now i wanted to mention that to you guys because this one doesn't come with it so i don't want you guys to kind of get thrown off with regards to that over to the rear what changes on the rear end take a look at the bumper fascia again we got that new cut here with the parking reflector shape or size is different okay and the matte black uh diffuser finish is going to be different as well and along with this more consistent one shape design on that led tail light okay that bar to where we come over to the old check that out so it kind of pops up and then drops back down so it's not as consistent as the new one dropping down no cut here in the bumper fascia 
okay? The finish on that matte black plastic diffuser area, a little bit more sporty on the, on the older one, all right? So that's pretty much the rear end. If we go, go over and shoot over to the cargo, not much difference on the cargo, okay? If we go ahead and talk cargo area, show you guys that as well. Some numbers for you guys, just food for thought. Cargo is going to be about 17 cubic feet of space with that second row seat up and a whopping 46 to 47 cubic feet of space with that second row seat down. Now, again, not much different. Don't want to waste your guys' time. What do we get under the mat? This is what it looks like with some personal cubby room down there. On the left-hand side, we got a 12-volt outlet and the lighting there as well, LED. Now let's go ahead and shoot over to the new 2025. Now the 2025, exactly the same with the mat, cargo, okay? We've got the same 12-volt with the lighting. But one thing that, it, yeah, actually not different at all. I was gonna mention the seating, the 60% and the 40, but not different at all. So nothing on the cargo, okay? Now that we're pretty much done showing you guys the spec difference between the Panamera 4's exteriors, front difference, and the rears, let's go ahead and shoot over to the interior. All right, so now we're sitting in the old body style of the Panamera 4, and I have to say, a lot of differences. But before we even continue, I wanna give a shout out and a thanks to Nilo Porsche here in Rockland, California, right outside Sacramento, for providing us both of these cars for this comparison video, guys. So if you guys do find yourselves in Rockland or Sacramento, you guys need a Porsche, head over to Nilo Porsche. They got two, Sacramento and Rockland, okay? Now let's go ahead and continue. Starting with the door panel, same technology on the door panel when you're opening and closing. What do I mean by that? It kind of just self assist of holding that door panel in place with that special door hinge but up top you got that black gloss and whatnot you got some cut differences a lot of the difference is going to be here okay you're going to see the pocket area a little bit more aggressive and sporty look in the new 2025 all right on the left hand side of the steering column four buttons and this plastic key they actually get rid of this and make it a push start stop button and they actually have one button just for the lighting okay and i'm going to show you guys that as well up here this vent is different and what i mean by that i'll show you guys this actually you can control with a knob still an old-fashioned knob with a little lever there to go right and left for your air to where on the new one you actually have to control it digitally from the uh infotainment screen steering wheel pretty much same paddle shifter same controls for your windshield wipers lot uh, signal lights and um, cruise control same a lot of big difference here on the cluster what do i mean by that is because it's a full digital cluster in the new 2025 to where in the 2020 four and under we're getting that manual look if you ask me and i typically don't say this at vagabond builds but for vagabond advice i love that kind of old time porsche look with that manual tachometer just phenomenal look okay now that's a lot of difference up top the bezel around the sport chrono clock is different in the new 2025 as well dropping down we're going to see a lot of difference right here in the center console area and if i go ahead and shut the ac off we actually get those flaps that close all right and these controls for the air conditioning are set together. So you would touch sensitive and control the height or the airflow where you want that to go, but it is set together because of that one piece cover, okay? You also have touch sensitive uh, media system. We go ahead and it lights up, shoots us over. So not just touch sensitive infotainment screen interface. The interface is the same, the screen is the same, but we're gonna get different controls here, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys that a little bit later as we jump into the new one. Also controls for the sport mode and traction control are down here to where the new one, get it in the uh, infotainment screen, as well as we no longer have the shift lever. The old time shift lever goes away and we actually get a little uh, toggle switch up here, okay? Now, another big difference is this little flap here. I'm gonna show you guys that as well, as long as, the, as well as the cup holders. They are not one in front of the other, but they are one next to another, okay? Center console, cover is different. Your wireless charging pad is placed here. USB-C plug-in and 12 volt placed here. And I'm gonna show you guys where it's placed in the new 2025. Seating. Seating, pretty much the same with regards to the seating. You get the leg extensions, the automatic controls, ventilated seats, heated uh, steering wheel. But up top, lockable glove compartment, exactly the same, okay? You're gonna see a big difference in these vents. 
Again, I'm gonna mention that as well. Another big difference up top, the controls here for your electric controlled visor and that back visor are going to be touch sensitive right here in the center. These are a manual lever for the back and for the front, okay? Different there as well. Let's go ahead and shoot over to the second row seating, show you guys some differences, and then pop over to the 2025. Differences back here, everyone. Not much difference. Seats looking the same. Uh, Armrest looking the same with a little bit of extra cubby room. Same, okay? What we're going to see the difference is the placement of the USB-C plugins, which are right here. Okay, you still get the cup holders, same exact way. And also, what's different is the heated seat buttons and the control to that top glass that visor you can actually control it with a hard little button to where the new one has a full digital screen here and you can control your temperatures and whatnot get that infotainment screen exactly placed right here in the new 2025 i'm going to show you guys in a little bit instead of hard back uh pocket covers we're getting two mesh pockets on the 2025 that's what's going to be different and i'm about six feet two inches so it puts it into perspective for you guys about the leg room and the head clearance you got it here as well okay and then the new 2025 also gives you some plush suede uh pillows for that headrest uh, on the back seats and i'm going to show you guys that again as we do it they kept the b pillar vents and the 2025 Okay. And up top, oh snap handles with your reading lights. All right. Now we're done with this old body style. I'm getting bored of it. Let's go ahead and shoot over to the more exciting 2025 Porsche Panamera 4. Now the interior of the best part of this video, my favorite, the 2025 Panamera 4. And it is just phenomenal on the new redesign or kind of remodeled look with regards to the interior. But before we continue, I want to give a shout out and a thanks to Nilo Porsche here in Rockland, California for providing us this beautiful uh, Panamera 4, both of them actually, for these comparison videos. They actually opened up their Sacramento Gen 5 building store. So if you guys find yourselves in Sacramento or in Rockland, California, you guys can visit their stores. Amazing team to work with. But let's go ahead and continue forward. Starting with the door panel, okay? Remember I mentioned to you guys the cuts, the angles, the trims, slightly more different, kind of a more industrial um, transformer feel, okay? And if I go ahead and open the door, we're gonna see the big difference with that shelf cover there, covering that speaker, okay? That's a lot of different right there. On the left-hand side of the electric steering column, we got that one button for the lights, so you don't get four different buttons. You're getting just one button to control the lights. And one part that I'm sad about is, remember I was telling you guys about this key. They get rid of that little plastic uh, key and they put a start engine stop button, which they kind of still keep the idea because it's on the left-hand side of the steering column, but it gets rid of that key that we know Porsche for to be so famous for. Up top, these are the new vents, the new kind of Tron looking vents. Um, futuristic, loving that look, okay? Steering wheel, pretty much only difference on the steering wheel is these little screws there giving it more of an industrial feel on the trim work on the steering wheel. But you're getting the same drive mode knob, paddle shifters, controls for your windshield wipers, signal lights, and your cruise control. Huge difference on the cluster, and why do I say that? Because it's full digital and no manual tachometer for the RPM gauge, and you can actually go through the differences for, of that cluster, and let's go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So the center, change that look. You could actually even change your info cards when you got three circles up. If we go over again to the center, you actually get that full Porsche feel there as well. Full digital and the dashboard on the old one. I didn't mention this, but it actually covers the older looking cluster to where this kind of gives it more of a freelance, standalone uh, cluster feel. The bezel around the Sport Chrono uh, watch is different with the vents, okay? Dropping down, interface is the same, but we got a, uh, some cool things I wanted to show you guys. On the left-hand side of the in, uh, screen, infotainment screen, we get the new shift lever, okay? Or the toggle switch, you might wanna call it, but the uh, drive mode, reverse, and parking. Get the navigation for the screen, and I wanna show you guys the new look on the controls to the climate, okay? So remember on the right and on the left, you still kinda of have those old style sh uh, shelf looking uh, with the lever and the little knob or whatever you wanna call those to control those right and left fence, but not anymore because you can control it just by a touch sensitive 
circle and the middle is standalone, all right? So it's a quad climate control to where the older one, remember it had those little uh, long little shelves and when you turn it off, it actually closes. But here you're actually getting, the, again, that new kind of revised look. Very cool, I love that. Look at that, you're still getting the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and both. Now dropping down, a lot of difference going on in the center console area, why? Because they get rid of the shift lever, the big shift lever, and temperature controls, you can control them, the vents and whatnot with the hard buttons. You can also control them here, okay? So two different options. And the placement of the ventilation and the heated seats, slightly different, all right? Now, big difference on the wireless charging pad here and USB-C plugins here with the cap to cover those. Cup holders are different, one next to another, right and left, instead of one behind the other. Center console with a 12 volt outlet, okay? Up top, what's different? Remember that touch sensitive visor for that rear button, just like that. And you still got a hard button for the front visor, but it's tucked away and again, different. Now, seats. Seats do kind of have a slightly different stitching pattern, but overall the same look. What is slightly different is the Porsche crest stamped on the back of, I mean, on the front of that headrest, okay? In front of the passenger seat, lockable glove compartment, but what's different is the trim comes with it, okay? Cool. And that's the new vent, kind of more in the uh, light, if you guys see it. Again, more of a futuristic Tron feel. Now that we're done with the front end, let's go ahead and shoot over to the second row seating and the new 2025. So the second row seat of the 2025, and I have to mention guys, kind of gives me more of an executive feel on the new 2025. And why do I mention that? Because of the things I mentioned with the suede plush headrest pillows, as well as this beautiful screen here in the middle. And what can you do? You can do a lot of things. It literally makes me feel like I'm sitting in the front or I'm being uh, chauffeured somewhere. You get the navigation screen. You can actually go home, control your climate here, and not manually, but also digitally, just like the front, okay? You can actually click out of that as well, and we could also control that top visor electrically, okay? Check that out. All from that little screen right there, everyone. Now, a lot more things are going on and whatnot. You get your compasses and so forth, but the Lower than that, you also get the uh, two USB-C plugins that are moved from here over to here, as I mentioned to you guys. Cup holders are the same with the covers, but this is really cool and probably one of my favorite parts of the 2025 Panameras. Hardbacks on the seats, different, kind of more of a transformer feel. Mesh pockets instead of hard cover pockets. And armrest with some cubby room is similar, okay? Now guys, as I uh, promised you guys, MSRP sticker to the older body style, it is a 2023. Uh, I'm not mentioning the price on it because it's already almost two years old or going on two years old, I might say. The new price tag is coming in at around $136,000 minus some change. What do you guys think? Is it worth it for the new Panamera for uh, base entry level uh, car here at Porsche? Loving it, I honestly love it. I wasn't a big fan, but I'm liking this new remodeled, redesigned Panamera 4. But again, if you guys wanna see more videos like this one, please like and subscribe to our channel. It really, really helps us out. We appreciate your guys' support. Thank you so much. If you guys want more of an in-depth review of the 2025, check out our channel for it. It's there. Stay tuned, keep watching. We have more cool things coming. God bless you.